Are you looking to move to Hayden, Idaho? Do you want to know some of the pros and cons of living there? In this video, I will go over a few of the pros and cons of living in Hayden, Idaho. A con of living in Hayden, Idaho can be that housing tends to be a little bit more expensive in Hayden. If we're looking at a single family home under two acres, not on waterfront or anything like that, the median price for 2022 is $600,000. A question that we get asked often and, is, and can be a con is Northern Idaho affordable to live? And the short answer is no, it is not affordable to live, but it hasn't been affordable since 2018. A lot of that has to do with the cost of living tends to be higher, especially for housing and rent in this area. And that has gone dr up dramatically in the last two years. One of the cons of living in Hayden, Idaho is that there is an airport that is near. Now it is a smaller airport. It does not have a tower. So it is a see and be seen airport. There are a lot of small planes that go in and out of that. So if you do not want to be in an aircraft flight zone, then make sure you look at the maps because there are a fair amount of homes that are affected by this, mostly in Hayden, but also in some of the other towns in North Idaho. A pro of living in Hayden is you are so close to everything. In fact, when driving, if you're not too familiar with the area, you can't really tell where Coeur d'Alene ends and where Hayden begins, but Hayden is smaller than Coeur d'Alene. The population for Hayden is 16,194, which makes it the 17th largest city or most populated city in the state of Idaho. One of the cons is the cost of living in Hayden tends to be higher of all the areas. A few things that Hayden has that may not be of concern to Post Falls or Rathdrum is Hayden does have two golf courses in town with a fair amount of homes that are around them and homes that are on the lake. The cost of living in the state of Idaho is 97.7, whereas the overall cost of living for Hayden is 110.4. So it is even higher than the state average. One of the pros for Hayden is Hayden tends to have a better median income than Coeur d'Alene. The median income for someone living or household income for someone living in Hayden is just right about $58,000 a year. A pro of living in Hayden is how close they are to their own lakes. We have Hayden Lake, which is a larger motorized lake. We also have Avondale. Now Avondale is a private lake, non-motorized, but as long as you respect other people's boundaries, and their docks, you can go and fish in canoes on that lake. That is also right between Avondale Golf Course and Hayden Golf Course. So there's a lot of recreational right there in Hayden. Also, not that far north, you can get into the Panhandle State Forest just going off of Hayden Creek Road or even going all the way up to Bogle. A con can be here recently, and I say probably within the last five or six years, because I don't remember it happening when we grow up, but in either August or September, when the wildfires are going, we tend to get unhealthy air. It just depends on how long it stays. This year, 2022, we had it for probably about five or six days. But I remember a couple years ago when it was out for almost three or four weeks of unhealthy air to where kids couldn't go outside at school or be out there. So we do have those. It just depends on the year, how bad it is, and the wildfires that are around us. This next one's a personal preference. I call it a pro, my husband calls it a con. So it all depends on what you prefer, but we do get snow. And depending on the year, we can get a fair amount of snow. We can, depending on others, we can not get a lot. It just really depends. I love a white Christmas and I do remember 
there a couple years ago that we were pushing up to Christmas and not any snow. But then we've also had February where we've gotten more snow than the state of Alaska. So right now the weather is just a little funky on what we get. I remember growing up in this area where there would be snow berms that were as tall as I was. We haven't seen that in a while, but that's not to say that it won't come back.